Well, the city of Salisbury's famous cheer wine festival has come and gone. But attendees and organizers say they may have gotten a little more cheer than they bargained for. City leaders confirmed that this was the most attended festival yet. And as Northeast Bureau Chief Cindy Heiberger tells us tonight, some cheer wine lovers are concerned the festival may have outgrown its space. Salisbury's cheer wine festival has only been around for six years. But each year it's grown and grown. It was literally up this street, elbow to elbow. You were fighting the crowds. In fact, it's grown so much that this year, some attendees said they had trouble just getting in. This was the line to get on the shuttle from the overflow parking deck at Rowan Cabrera's Community College. I've seen posts saying they were, they were waiting up to two hours. In a statement sent to Queen City News, a spokesperson for the city of Salisbury said, our expectations for the event that day were between 50,000 to 60,000 visitors, but that figure was soon surpassed as public safety officials and city staff estimate close to 100,000 people were in attendance. I drove an hour and a half to go to this event. I didn't get there till 1.45 and I left before 3 o'clock because I got aggravated. Attendees like Shanna Biggerstaff say it was hard to tell where lines for vendors began, where they ended, and which businesses they went to. Now they're suggesting the city expand the boundaries of the festival with the most popular food trucks on the side streets. Some even suggesting taking it a step further. It would probably be a good thing for them to like sell tickets or just distribute tickets, and that way they can kind of have an idea of who's coming, how many people are coming. A growing celebration to honor the city's bubbly legacy. Some just hoping next year, the cheer gets a little bit more spread out. I've never tried, tried cheer wine, and I didn't even get to try the cheer wine, so I was a little disappointed. In Salisbury, Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News.